On today's episode of Car Simplified, we're going to do some math involving oil filters. Wait, wait, don't go. I'm going to do all the math for you. Today we're going to be looking at these six oil filters, which are all from the same application. We'll start with the newest filter, the Pure Later Boss. The hole diameter on this one is 0.22 inches, which means the radius is 0.11 inches. I converted this to 2.794 millimeters. The area of the hole is 24.5 millimeters squared, which means if you multiply that by the total number of holes, you'll have a total area of 196 millimeters squared. The K&N Performance Gold has a hole diameter of 0.265 inches, which means the radius is 0.132 inches. That converts to 3.35 millimeters. The whole area is 35.3 millimeters squared, making the total area 282 millimeters squared when you consider the eight holes. Out of all the filters I measured today, the k had the largest total opening size. The Fram Extra Guard has a hole diameter of 0.175 inches, which means the radius is about 0.087 inches. Converting that to millimeters makes it 2.21 millimeters in radius. The area of one hole is 15.34 millimeters, which means with eight holes, the total area is 123 millimeters squared. The CarQuest Red oil filter had a hole diameter of 0.265 inches, making the radius 0.132 inches. Converting the radius to millimeters makes it 3.35 millimeters. The area of a single hole on this filter is 35.3 millimeters squared, making the total area 212 millimeters squared. Out of the three oil filters that retail for over $10, the Mobile One filter did the worst. With a hole diameter of 0.23 inches, the radius is 0.115 inches. In millimeters, that's 2.921. That makes the area of one hole 26.79 millimeters squared, and the total area 161 millimeters squared. And finally, the AC Delco filter. The inside diameter of the hole was a nice even 0.3 inches, making the radius 0.15. We get rid of that nice clean even number by converting to 3.81 millimeters. The area of one hole is 45.6 millimeters squared. And with six holes, the total area comes to 278 millimeters squared. That AC Delco filter was second place to the K&N by only 4 millimeters squared. Now we have data that shows how much of an opening there is for oil to go through on one side of the filter, but we don't have the complete picture. A lot of people when seeing that data probably thought, oh here's a list of best to worst oil filters, but that's not the case. There are other restrictions to consider when talking about oil filters most notably the filter media itself. There are also supports on the inside of some filters to keep that filter media from collapsing on itself. One last important consideration is that hole down the center of the filter. Now don't go measuring that threaded portion on the filter. The actual opening you need to consider is on the engine that it gets screwed onto, and those can vary sometimes. Now that we've covered the topic, here's some homework to go do. Wait, 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 don't, don't go just yet. I know no one does these, so just listen and forget about it. The next time you get an oil filter, use the math we just did to measure the holes on that oil filter. Take a look and see which one has more area. The hole down the center of the stud, or the combined total of all the holes around the outside of the filter. You may find on some engines, the size of the holes on the filter are completely irrelevant, while on others, the size of the holes are going to matter a lot. But since most people don't do homework issued to them on YouTube, I hope you just enjoy the findings that I presented. 